Word training. We got breaking news out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, my home state. It involves a young man that had pledged allegiance to a group in the Middle East that I can't mention on YouTube. It was going to carry out attacks on a number of churches in the Coeur d'Alene area on April 7th, but was stopped by the FBI just before it happened. Now we're going to unpack everything to the best that we can here on YouTube, but the censoring is strong on YouTube. I have a little bit more information along with pictures that might be helpful for you. If you head over to ChristianWarriorTraining.com, I provide free training, free information to everybody. It is all free. There's no gimmick. I'm not going to spam you. You'll just get newsletters about crimes occurring at churches, tips that will help you with your safety team and help to enhance security at your church. If you like that information, head on over there. All right, let's go ahead and break this incident down. The suspect in this case is Alexander Mercurio from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. He's 18 years old and he was arrested for allegedly planning to attack local churches in support of this Middle Eastern terrorist group that I cannot mention on YouTube. Now, the plan involved carrying out a mission using knives, guns, fire, and other weapons on April 7th to coincide with the end of Ramadan. Mercurio allegedly pledged allegiance to this Middle Eastern group that I can't mention and intended to kill as many people as possible at churches within walking distance of his home and near his school. Now, he was arrested on April 6th after the FBI learned of his allegiance to this group and his plans online. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Justice news release, Mercurio had expressed a desire to carry out an attack since October 2022 and discuss his plans with FBI informants. Now, we'll hash into this info a little bit more because I know some of you are going to be skeptical like I am on some issues on this. But like just like every news story I bring to you, I'm always going to tell you what you can do for your church realistically. Now, originally, Mercurio had held white supremacy beliefs, but he had abandoned those for uh, what he perceived as more of a purpose with this Middle Eastern group and expressed a desire for violence partly to satiate a bloodlust feeling that he had amongst himself. Now, he used his school issue laptop for research and communication related to terrorism and expressed frustration about the number of churches in his area intending to fix that real soon. It's the one thing I love about Idaho. We have churches everywhere. If that bothers you, then Idaho is not the place for you. You may want to take my place in California. Now, Mercurio planned to attack his father, steal his guns, and then proceed with those church attacks. Now, he expressed shame for not having previously engaged in violence in the name of this Middle Eastern terrorist group and planned to send his life savings, which I'm sure was about $20.50, to the organization after the intended attack. I mean, he's 18 years old, still in school. I think he had his allowance money to send them, but DOJ had to throw that in the press release. Not to diminish what this young man was going to do, though. Now, he faces a charge of attempting to provide material support or resource to a designated foreign terrorist organization, which could result in up to 20 years in federal prison. So one thing is for sure, he was going to do something and he was going to harm at least one church in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And if that church didn't have a safety team, a safety ministry, he probably wouldn't have got far, but he still could have gone farther than had there been a safety ministry. Now, one thing about Idaho is there are a lot of concealed carriers. In my church, we do teach a class on identifying armed people. If you want to see that class, head on over to ChristianWarriorTraining.com. I have a class that will address just that such topic amongst others and identifying threats at your church. And I want to say at least 30% of my congregants are carrying concealed. But the problem is if you are relying on concealed carriers for protection, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble because to provide safety for your church, you're going to need training, continual practice at the range, and a mindset that you're overwatching everybody while they worship. It's imperative that you have an organized safety team of like-minded individuals that have training, that continually go out and train to make themselves better, and have a plan to overwatch the church, meaning they're watching the doors, the parking lots, monitoring people inside, looking for those danger cues to protect people that are worshiping inside. Now look, the FBI has a dubious track record on incidents just like this. But one thing I want you to keep in mind with, with in, this specific incident, something was going to happen. Head over to ChristianWarriorTraining.com and look at the article that I wrote about this incident. And you'll see a picture of him posing 
with some of the paraphernalia of this group. When people start going that far, they're going to go do it. They're going to find a way to do it. And the problem is, is we really need to be watching out for the lone wolf actor like this person, the person that might be mentally unstable, the person that has cognitive difficulties, and the person that has low mental capacity that falls for the propaganda that's being put out by these groups, and then follow what those people are telling them to do. Now, I've been warning you that this is going to occur. At some point, somebody is not going to get stopped and somebody's going to follow through. And when you watch my channel and see all this bad news come out, it's very easy for you to start feeling scared and worried and start wanting to turn your church into a bunker and locking doors and having metal detectors have guys with AR-15s out front. We don't do that. Our churches are open. They're welcoming. And we let people come in to come worship Christ. That's what we do. You just have a security team that's armed, that's overwatching everybody to make sure they're okay. And people feel good about the security being there and they feel welcomed and they come in and you're that enhanced greeter, the guy with a smile on their face, that's shaking everybody's hand, that's welcoming them to the church, but is also looking for all that danger and is ready to take action for when that kid busts through the door and tries to hurt your people. It's super important that you take these incidents seriously. Remember one of the most important things that you can do while you're overwatching your church and people are worshiping is to remember your ABCs, always be caring.